QuickBooks Online Account Receivable Tutorial. Hey everybody, this is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University. And I have done these accounts receivable tutorials in QuickBooks Desktop and I wanted to go through it in QuickBooks Online. Get a lot of people, uh, whether they are members or just people on YouTube that have questions. Uh, my clients have questions and they just really don't understand what accounts receivable are. Okay, so I'm gonna walk through this and show you how they come about in QuickBooks and why you have them and how you can track them and, and everything that goes along with it. So let's start with the basics. So accounts receivable just means money that customers owe you. Okay, so very simple, you know, they, you have this term accounts receivable. It just means, again, money that customers owe you. So the only time that you're going to have accounts receivable in QuickBooks Online is when you issue an invoice to a customer. Because if you do a sales receipt, you know, somebody pays you immediately, or, you know, let's say you have a retail store, in general, you're not going to have accounts receivable. You will have accounts receivable in service type businesses uh, where you are sending an invoice to a customer, or uh, it could be, you know, maybe you uh, install something, construction, things like that. You're going to be issuing invoices to customers. That's when you're going to have accounts receivable. So, first of all, let me show you where this shows up. I'm going to the reports and I'm going to the balance sheet. Now on the balance sheet, you can see accounts receivable, $5,281.52. So if we click this, it's not gonna show you a whole lot. It's gonna show you an ongoing register of, of people paying and invoices issued and so on and so forth. So it's very hard to read. But when you are looking at a balance sheet, then you see accounts receivable, that's what that means. So as of February 19th, 2023, uh, customers owe Craig's Design and Landscaping Services $5,281.52. Now, again, the only way that this is going to increase is when you issue an invoice in QuickBooks Online. If you don't know how to do an invoice, then I would suggest you go to my channel and look up the videos on uh, issuing an invoice in QuickBooks Online and you'll see how this increases. Now, the way that this decreases is when a customer pays you, okay? So if we go up here and we say new, we say customers, you see invoice right there, or receive payment. So when we apply a payment towards an invoice that a customer pays us, they send us a check, they go online, do bill pay, whatever it is, this account receivable is going to decrease, all right? So it goes up and down based on what customers owe you. Now, there's a very, very important report that I want to show you on here that every business owner or bookkeeper or whoever should be looking at periodically to make sure you're tracking your account receivable. You'll see it here. It says account receivable aging summary. And it's also down here under sales and customers, let's see, what you owe expenses, employees, if they have it on this sample file. Let's see what you owe. And I don't see it in this list. Here it is. Who owes you? I was right there. Accounts receivable aging detail, which is going to show you all the detail of uh, each customer, invoices and payments. Accounts receivable aging summary. All right, and then of course you can pull a collections report, customer balance details, summary, et cetera. All right, so there's all sorts of detail now. This is the important one here that you wanna be looking at. I, we personally, and we tell our clients, look at these once a month. Now, what this shows is the current invoices that people owe you, so 3,756, invoices that are one to 30 days past due. Okay, so, or between one and 30 days owed. So current is immediate. One to 30 days means that, it uh, depends on the setup, so you can change the setup and how you wanna view this. So it can mean if it's one to 30 days past due or within one to 30 days of owed. Uh, 31 to 60 is 31 to 60 days past the invoice date, 61 to 90 and 91 and over. So you need to be looking at these periodically, I say monthly, to make sure. So for example, 55 Twin Lane, the Freeman Sporting Goods, they've got a pretty old accounts receivable. You wanna make sure that you collect this money 
and be sending your statements, calling clients, customers, sending them emails to make sure that you get paid. Because if you don't track your accounts receivable, it can get out of hand real quick. We have had many, many clients where we've had to go in and really get collections because they let them go past due. So being in business and running a business is not all about just selling. It's also about making sure that you get paid for the work that you do. So I want to make sure that you understand this, this report here, Accounts Receivable Aging Summary, is very, very important to be looking at at least on a monthly basis. Then also sometimes you're going to have some weird stuff in here. You may show some credits to some customers, and I've got other videos explaining how to clean that up. So those are the basics of accounts receivable and understanding uh, QuickBooks Online accounts receivable, how it works, what makes it increase, what makes it decrease. If you have any questions, any comments, please feel free to leave those below. I appreciate you watching. If this video was helpful, please give it a like, a thumbs up, and subscribe.